Hmm, what's this? Looks like we got something in the mail. Wonder what could be in this tiny box we have here. <gasps> Wait a minute, I know what this is. It's the keyboard from my mini desk that I made. Why don't we go ahead and set everything up? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's make a cute desk and some stuff to go on top of it. If we start with the desk, we're gonna need some craft wood. And these pattern pieces I made will be available on the mini warriors tier on my Patreon. I'm gonna cut out these desk pieces. I'm actually surprised these scissors still cut because they are very old and have been used to cut all sorts of things that scissors probably never should be used for. So now that I have all my pieces cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the craft wood. I'm pre-painting this because I've found that when I paint it after I glue all of the pieces together, sometimes it melts the glue or dissolves it or warps and it ends up looking really funky and weird. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it get all of its warping done before I cut out the pieces. I really tried to up my pattern game this time around because I need to make sure that these pieces actually fit together and that I'm not confused about which piece is which. But here I am still just triple checking that they're going to fit and that I have everything cut out correctly before I start gluing it together and then have to tear everything apart. This glue that I'm using is Aileen's Tacky Glue and this is my favorite glue to use for pretty much everything I do in these builds. This is the Turbo Tacky Glue, which is a little bit thicker and it holds all of the wood pieces together until I can get something heavy to smush them down. <laughs> After a little time has passed, the glue has dried enough for me to move on to doing the front of the desk and I'm making fake drawers for the front. Sometimes I do drawers that open, but this time they're just going to be a facade. So I'm coloring some black into the gaps where I think that the shadow from the inside of the drawer would naturally show through. And then I'm gluing on the front drawer cutouts and gluing that entire piece of wood to the front of the desk. I'm using some white plastic tubes that I found in my drawer of bits and bobs and I cut those up to be the legs of the desk that I'm just super gluing to the bottom side of the top of the desk, the bottom side of the top. And then I'm gluing the top of the desk down to the drawers that I just made. So now that I've built a mini desk with plenty of storage space in those drawers, it's time to put something on top of this thing. And what do we need the most? A computer, obviously. I cut all of the pieces of the monitor out of plastic and I'm going to be molding the back part of the monitor. So I decided to carve up this balsa wood, which is an insanely soft wood that it's easy to sand and carve. It doesn't take any effort at all. And I'm going to make the shape of the back of the monitor so that I can then mold some plastic over the top of it. I drew an outline of the pattern pieces onto the side of the wood, and then I sanded it down until the profile matched up to my pattern pieces. And I carved down a little bit, but mostly I used this wood file and a little bit of sandpaper. I'm getting my desk ready to do this plastic molding because this hot plate that I'm using gets everything hot and I didn't want to melt my cutting mat. And this little baby is my DIY vacuum former that I made and it's just gonna hook up to my vacuum and suction down the plastic. This is the plastic sheet that I use and I cut it into a square and put it between these wooden pieces and clamped it down and this is going to be so that I can hold it over the very hot hot plate and not burn my fingers off. The mold is placed on this box and then I turn on the vacuum and it sucks all the air out from underneath the plastic. 
and you can see that it makes a mold of the object that was sat on the plastic former. And now I'm carefully trimming it and I'm sanding down the edges so that I can have a good connection between the back and the front plastic pieces because I'm using a plastic cement to glue them together and it's going to basically melt the two pieces together so I don't want to have huge gaps or the cement won't be able to bond the pieces together. I marked the center of the back of the monitor and then I made this itsy bitsy cute little stand to go on the back of it and glued it in place. And I got this printer from my mom a couple of Christmases ago and I haven't used it much, but it prints out little stickers that you can use for different things. So I'm using that to be the front screensaver and it's super cute. It's a saranghae in the corner, which I'm learning Korean, but I'm not very good yet. <laughs> But I can still say that I love you guys. Saranghaeyo. And then I'm putting this plastic rim around to be the bezel, the front bezel of the computer monitor. And now I'm going to move on to making the keyboard because how are we even going to turn this thing on or type anything out? I have this white polymer clay that I'm using and I'm cutting <laughs> it into a rectangle shape with this extremely well-loved piece of metal that I got at some point to cut polymer clay with. And then I'm using some new polymer clay tools to put in the little lines and separate out the keyboard. It was really tiny and I thought these lines were straight, but they're a little bit crooked, but it's okay because I still like the way that it turned out after I baked it. And I'm just using some acrylic paint to paint the keyboards a pink color and it was too small to write the actual letters on so I just put some black acrylic paint dots in the corner <laughs> to be the letters. I put some UV resin over the top to make it a little bit glossy and more plasticky looking. So now I'm going to make a pencil holder. I used some plastic again and I made a rectangle shape and then I rolled out some little pieces of polymer clay and cut them down to be pencil size and cut up some little sheets of paper to go inside of it. I ended up making way more of these little pencils than I needed, but maybe I can cut them up and make them sprinkles on like ice cream or something or figure out something to do with them, but it looks really good. And this is my favorite part of the build. I decided to add on some more decorative things to the top of the desk, so I'm making a lamp. I'm kind of winging it. There were no real pattern pieces for this. I just drew out how I wanted it to look at the size that it should be for this scale, which by the way, this is in 1 12th scale, which is a little bigger than I normally build at. And that had some interesting challenges that came along with it. But I cut up these tiny pieces of plastic and glued them together to be the frame for the light. And then I'm using my mold again to make the actual light bulb cover. All of the steps for that are going to be basically the same as the steps that I used to create the back of the computer monitor. It was a little bit trickier to cut this one neatly since it's so small and fiddly, but Luckily, these tiny, tiny scissors came in handy. And then it was just a matter of gluing a lot of pieces together. Now, for a little while, I left it looking exactly like this, but then it started to bother me that it was so white, it was just blending in with the back of my desk and I, I couldn't even tell it was there when I looked at it. So I decided to crack out this airbrush that I'm trying to learn how to use and attempt to airbrush it a pink color. So you can see how that turned out. I'm getting a little bit better with using it, but um, I, can, I still have some room for improvement. But here we go. All of the things for the desk are done and I'm so happy with this little desk setup. This way I don't have to rearrange my entire room because goodness knows 
every couple of videos you guys saw my background change because I'm obsessed with redecorating. So here we are. <laughs> I want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers, but in specific, Fred, Jordan, Lisa, Ryan, and Lori. You guys are so amazing. So this is your Patreon shout out and I will see everybody else in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.